The idea of the Future Innovation Lab is to enable firms and society to experience how we will work around the year 2030 and constantly investigate these working worlds. The way we will work in the future will change in at least three areas. Smart living and working represents the private sphere of a typical knowledge worker in 2030. These people combine both, work and private life. Here, people try to achieve a high level of flexibility and to spontaneously switch between private and professional activities. The other two working worlds are located in firms. One of these two working worlds is called activity-based working. The major purpose is to offer employees various ways of working to make them more agile and efficient. They can work in a team setting at the smart table on a conceptual task or create new products with the HoloLens and the 3D printer. This work environment, employees must have access to specific tools which support them to fulfill their task in an efficient manner. Research studies have shown that in collaborative work among team members, there are frequent transitions between very close collaboration on the one hand and rather loose collaboration on the other hand where people work on subtasks rather independently. Our interactive smart table caters for this characteristic nature of teamwork. These classes here are tightly coupled with the table. They allow each team member to see and interact with two kinds of information only. Shared information for close collaboration and private information for loose collaboration. This leads to completely digitized information where there's no paper anymore. One fingertip provides access to all the information you need. So in summary, the smart table supports digitized collaboration in the future in a very natural manner. Today, we observe that most people are kind of hyper-rational. The working world, work and play, contrasts this view by enabling and encouraging knowledge workers to work in a creative manner. Here, we created a playful work setting in which people start playing with various things, such as Lego, to come up with radically new ideas for products or services. I also believe that robots will be integrated in our service teams around the year 2030 on a regular basis. You already find robots in the hotel sector, for example at Marriott, or other firms like Nestlé and Toshiba, where robots already serve as frontline employees. Please let me know the destination. I would like to go to Italy. Thank you for choosing Italy. We are going to book a flight for you. We will send you the ticket directly on your smartphone. When we have a corporate culture that supports both efficiency and creativity, the question is when to do what? When should we work efficiently or when should we try out new things? Another important aspect on the firm's journey to become future-proof is how future-oriented they are. This is whether and how future orientation is included in the strategy and whether managers serve as role models for future orientation through their own behavior. We already know today how firms can manage the challenges of tomorrow successfully. The Future Work Navigator measures firms' readiness for the future and shows well-proven drivers of future ability. And again, we learn, in the end, it's all about humans. <laughs>